Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on graph proportional relationships. If we look at our vocabulary startup to start our lesson, maps have grids to locate cities. The coordinate plane is a type of grid that is formed when two number lines intersect at their zero points. The number lines separate the coordinate plane into four regions called quadrants. An ordered pair is a pair of numbers such as parentheses 1, 2 used to locate or graph points on the coordinate plane. And so the x-coordinate corresponds to a number on the x-axis, and that would be the 1. The y-coordinate corresponds to a number on the y-axis, and that's the number 2 here. And so when we look at our point 1, 2, the 1 corresponds to the point on the x-axis, and the 2 corresponds to the point on the y-axis. So label the coordinate plane with the terms ordered pair, x-coordinate, and y-coordinate. Well, the first arrow is pointing to the number 1, and that is the x-coordinate. Now the bottom one is pointing to the number 2, and that is our y-coordinate. The middle one then points to the entire ordered pair. And I want to point out that our y-axis is our vertical up and down axis. Our x-axis is the horizontal left and right axis. And the origin is here in the middle of the two at 0, 0. Next, it states, graph the points 2, 3, and negative 3, 2 above. And let's start there. If we zoom in on our graph real close so we can see a little bit better what's going on here, if we're looking for 2, 3, well, that's 2 on our x, and 3 on our y, and we're going to go to where they meet, which is right there. So we're going to draw a point at 2, 3. Then negative 3, negative 2. Well, the negative 3 on the x-axis is right here. The negative 2 on the y is there, and where they meet is right there. So that's where we're going to draw our point for negative 3, negative 2. Then it says to connect the three points on the coordinate plane and describe the graph. What well, sure does look like these are going in a line. So we're going to draw a line here between these points. And as we zoom out to be able to write our answer to this question, we can say that the points... form a straight line. Let's continue on. So as we look to identify proportional relationships on a coordinate plane, remember back to our previous lesson when we were identifying proportional relationships by looking for a constant ratio. So another way to determine whether two quantities are proportional is to graph the quantities on the coordinate plane. If the graph of the two quantities is a straight line through the origin, then the two quantities are proportional. So we need two things with our graph. We need a straight line that is through the origin. It must satisfy both conditions for the quantities to be proportional. So, in our first guided example, the slowest mammal on Earth is the tree sloth. It moves at a speed of six feet per minute. Determine whether the number of feet the sloth moves is proportional to the number of minutes it moves by graphing on the coordinate plane. And explain your reasoning. Well, our first step is to make a table to find the number of feet walked 
were 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 minutes. Well, at 0 minutes, we did not move. It was 0 feet. After 1 minute, we were increasing by 6, so 6 feet. After 2 minutes, it traveled another 6 feet, so 12. 3 was 18. 4 was 24. And so as we graphed in step 2 with time on the x-axis and distance on the y-axis, we have our points 0, 0, 1, 6, 2, 12, 3, 18, and 4, 24. Now, the line passes through the origin and is a straight line. So the number of feet traveled is proportional to the number of minutes. Now as we look to see if we can got it or do our got it question ourselves, James earns $5 an hour babysitting. Determine whether the amount of money James earns babysitting is proportional to the number of hours he babysits by graphing on the coordinate plane. Explain your reasoning in the work zone. Well, let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit here so we can have space to work. Just like in the got it example, let's create a table. Our first thing can be time in hours with the H. And then the second piece can be the amount in dollars. Well, as we go to fill in our table, after zero hours, James has made no money. That should make sense. After one hour, if he's earning $5 per hour, he's made $5. After two hours, he's made another $5, so that's going to be $10. Then after three hours, another $5 gets us $15. And we're running out of room here, so we'll just finish with the four hours. Another five would be $20. And now we get to graph this. And so we get to show zero for hours and zero for money, which is right here. And then we get to show 1 for hours and 5 for the amount. That's going to be between 4 and 6 right here. Then 2 hours is $10, which is right here. 3 hours was $15, which is right here. Now our graph doesn't go up to 20, so we can just stop graphing. Now can we connect these points? We can indeed. And so, for each of these points, 0, 0, 1, 5, 2, 10, and 3, 15, they are on this line. And so we have to ask ourselves, is this a proportional relationship? For it to be proportional, we need those two things. We need a straight line. We have that. It needs to go through the origin. We have that. So as we zoom out to write our explanation in our work zone, we can write that the straight line passes through the origin. So, comma, the amount of money James earns is proportional to the number
of ours, he babysits. And so we made our table, we graphed our points, and then we use our definition, a straight line that passes through the origin is a proportional relationship, to say that the amount of money James earns is proportional to the number of hours he babysits. And again, we looked for the straight line that passed through the origin. Let's continue on. In our second guided example, the cost of renting video games from Games Inc. is shown in the table. We have one game being three dollars, two games being five, three games being seven, four games being nine. Determine whether the cost is proportional to the number of games rented by graphing on the coordinate plane. Explain your reasoning. Step one. Write the two quantities as ordered pairs. Number of games was our x, cost was our y. So we have one, three, two, five, three, seven, four, nine, and step two is to graph these points. Well, they graphed one, three here. You can see where they graphed two, five. You can see the three, seven, and the four, nine. Now, when you graph these points and you don't have anything here for zero, what we're going to do is to extend the line. So you can see how they connected the dots and extended the line down here. Well, the line does not pass through the origin. Notice it does not pass through zero, zero. So even though we have a straight line, it does not pass through the origin. So the cost of the video games is not proportional to the number of games rented. Let's see if we've got it in our example. The table shows the number of calories an athlete burned per minute of exercise. Determine whether the number of calories burned is proportional to the number of minutes by graphing on the coordinate plane. Explain your reasoning in the work zone. Let's go ahead and zoom in here because we'll need to zoom in on this graph. The first thing we want to do here is to rewrite all of these as ordered pairs. We have our minutes on our graph as the x-axis and our calories as the y. So we can rewrite these as 0, 0, 1, 4, 2, 8, and 3, 13. Well, 0, 0, we've already checked off one of the things we need for this to be proportional. It's going through the origin. Yay! 1, 4 is here. 2, 8 is here. And 3, 13 is up here. And so if we zoom in really close here now, remember this must form a straight line. So as I go from 0, 0 to 1, 4, so far so good. From 1, 4 to 2, 8, so far so good. But then from 2, 8 to 3, 13, kind of jetting up here a little bit. Now, that might not look like much, but it is important. Because if I were to extend this line out, it would come up in this direction. But unfortunately, it doesn't. We go to 313. And so this is not a straight line. So if we zoom out now to complete our explanation, We can write something along the lines of not proportional and for our reasoning the graph is not a straight line.
not a straight line. Let's continue on to our last example. And it's just a guided example. There is no got it question with this. So let's make sure we understand what's going on here. Which batting cage represents a proportional relationship between the number of pitches thrown and the cost? Explain. Remember, what are the two things we need on a graph for a proportional relationship? We need a straight line that goes through the origin. Well, both lines are straight, but with softball plus, it does not go through the origin. And that's what it says here. It is a straight line, but it does not pass through the origin. And so it's not proportional for softball plus. However, fun center, oh, what fun we will have at fun center. Zero, zero, and a straight line. So it is a straight line that does pass through the origin. So the relationship between the number of pitches thrown and the cost is proportional. So fun center is the proportional relationship of the batting cages. And that is it for this lesson on graph proportional relationships. Just remember, you need a straight line that also passes through the origin. Good luck.